Hi everyone! Welcome back to Mom and Me Beauty. Today we're going to be doing our DIY dry shampoo. So we did find this recipe online and it is it does have separate directions for dark hair and lighter hair. And I will link all of the websites and the ingredients that we use down in the description bar below. So make sure you check that out. Now these do require, you know, ingredients that you might have in your house every day. Mm -hmm. Essential oils, cornstarch, cocoa powder for, for dark hair people, and baking soda. And also, click the subscribe button and the bell next to it to be notified of all of our new videos. Now it is still the Christmas season. And our giveaway is still going on because we did reach 100 subscribers. So that is still going on, so make sure you check out that video from last week. Up in the cards, and I will have it also in the description bar below. This video came about because uh, Emma and I love to do DIY projects, but you can find like a DIY peppermint body scrub, beauty scrub, just about everywhere all over the internet. All you have to do is Google and up pop like 30 or 40 recipes. So we didn't want to do something that you know, you can find anywhere, along with lip balm, that seems to be the same kind of thing, DIY lip balm. Um, we even found a recipe for DIY uh, bar soap, which, you know, a lot of people have their own recipes and do. So we really wanted to find something unique that perhaps that you could add in with all these other DIY projects that you may either be doing already for the holiday season or, you know, you may be interested in doing that to give as a gift to that someone special who loves beauty products. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we're going to make Emma's first and we are cutting this recipe in half because I wasn't exactly sure that this is going to work. So I wanted to make a, a small amount as I could. And if it does work, then we can always make another batch. So the recipe calls for half a cup of cornstarch. I'm doing quarter cup of cornstarch with two tablespoons of baking soda. And so we're going to add one tablespoon of baking soda. And then it calls for a few drops of your favorite essential oil, which will help give the dry shampoo the aroma of your choice. So we chose peppermint, and this is something that you can do yourself and give away as a gift for the holiday season. Uh, but it's entirely up to you. If you prefer, you know, like lavender or rosewood or some other essential oil, that is completely up to you. And so be very, very careful because this can, you know, come out at you pretty quick. Just a few drops is all the recipe calls for. And it also can be quite potent. And then you just mix it all together. And then you just put it into an empty spice container. You can even clean out some of your old spice containers. This is a great thing for kids to do. So if you're looking for some DIY projects, for you and your kids to do on a, you know, weekend this holiday season, this is a great idea. Okay, on to the dark hair dry shampoo. Again, I wasn't sure if this was gonna work, so I cut the recipe in half. For this recipe, you're going to combine half a cup of cocoa, so in our case, it's gonna be a quarter cup of cocoa powder with two tablespoons of cornstarch, so in our case, it would be one tablespoon and again a few drops of the essential oil and i am so excited that this is gonna smell like peppermint and cocoa like my hair is gonna smell like a good cup of hot chocolate and again you're just going to put it into an empty spice jar if you're wondering if this is safe to put in your hair or use on your skin uh, if you think about it, Too Faced injects all, well, almost all of their shadow palettes with cocoa. They put cocoa in their uh, Chocolate Soleil bronzer, so it's in a lot of products. Cocoa is perfectly safe to put on the body. Also, baking soda and cornstarch are used to absorb the oil in your hair and to um, tame down the scent that sometimes the oils can leave. So the, all the ingredients are perfectly safe to apply to your hair and to your skin. And here they are, one for me and one for Emma. And if you look at the top of the jar, 
So normally where you would sift out your spices, that's where we're going to sift out the dry shampoo. And well, let's see if it works. Okay, so here is the tryout. Here's mine for my darker hair. And here's mine. We both have day old hair. Uh, I washed my hair yesterday morning. Today I didn't put any dry shampoo in it. Uh, I didn't do anything other than put some curl spray into it. Um, so this actually may help to absorb some of that. I didn't do anything to my hair. I just threw it up in the ponytail. So I really didn't do anything to my hair at all. So The directions on the website say that you should sprinkle some of this into your hair, let it sit for about a minute or so, and then comb it or brush it through. So here we go. Maybe you can help cover up your gray too, mommy. <laughs> Thanks, um. Thanks for pointing that out. The white streaks that you do see in my hair are grays. Yes, I'm getting older as I'm sure many of you are too. And it helps sometimes to shake it up right before you use it, just to make the um, powder more powdery. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. So I have a comb, Emma's got a brush. We're going to comb it and brush it through our hair and see how it works. So I'm gonna use my brush to brush through my hair and then I'm going to take my hands and just, you know, really get in there, rub it to the roots because I find that works really great too, so. Yeah, it works yeah. really well for me too. Okay, so we weren't able to get any of the powder over here on the side of Emma's head, so what we're gonna do is put some of that powder directly onto her brush and then brush it through and see if that helps. It's really difficult to get the dry shampoo over there. Yeah, and this is by far my oldest spot on both sides of my head, just because when I'm in the shower, you know, my nurse can't really get the reach that well to the sides of my head. So you know, we put about that much on her brush. Yeah, it's definitely getting on her hair. So final verdict, I really like this. And I'll tell you why. I have not met a dry shampoo that doesn't leave a white cast in my hair. Everything, everything makes it look like ashy or like I straight up dusted flour on my hair and it didn't blend in. Like it's just awful, nothing. And I even tried a, um, a tinted dry shampoo that was specifically for people with darker hair. Didn't work, it did absolutely nothing for my hair. Didn't absorb the oils, it just looked, made my hair look awful. I think this is really, really good. And bonus, it smells like a really good cup of hot chocolate with a candy cane in it. So yeah, I really like this. In my opinion, I, I'm not so much a fan of this. I feel like I don't really look any different. I mean, yes, it did soak up some of the oil on my roots. My actual hair here does get oily too, and I just feel like it's a lot more shiny than it usually is with regular dry shampoo. So I'm not the biggest fan of this. It doesn't, it takes a lot longer than an aerosol. So in my opinion, I need the time because time is key when I get ready for school. Let us know like what this. you think down in the comment section below. We would love to know. Do you think it actually worked and does our hair look uh, you know, less shiny like it absorbed the oils like it was supposed to? Let us know in the comment section below. And that is it for this DIY dry shampoo video. We hope that you really enjoyed. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up down below. That way we know that you really like these types of DIY projects and we can continue to make videos geared specifically towards that for you. Thank you so very, very much to all of our new viewers, our new subscribers. We hope that you stick around for a whole lot longer. And if you'd like to catch some of our playlists, I will have those also linked down in the description bar for you. So you can see all the things that we've been talking about over the last year. As Emma said before, we have reached 100 subscribers, our first goal here on YouTube. So to celebrate, we are having our first ever giveaway on this channel. I will link that video up again in the cards for you, right above Emma's head and down in the description bar below, along with the website specifically to enter the giveaway. 
We will be accepting entries through December 20th and we will announce the winner on Christmas Day. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We do post two beauty videos a week. On Mondays is Mom and Me Day and on Thursdays is either Teen Take with Emma or Mom Moment with me. Be sure to connect with us on Instagram under Mom and Me Beauty and with Emma under Emma underscore N underscore 2004. Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. And we can't wait to see you in our next Mom and Me video. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.